Today's Five Things You Need to Know is brought to you by Power Credit Union, proudly serving Southern Colorado. Hi there, I'm Allison Zimmerman. The Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment is reporting 1,072 new cases of COVID-19, along with 21 new hospital admissions and nine new deaths directly due to the virus. The statewide death toll since the start of the pandemic has now passed 2,050. El Paso County exceeding the incident rates set to remain in the current safer at home level one phase 14 consecutive days and the two week positivity rate is at 4.93%. That's just below the threshold of 5%. But what police hope a state grant can help fight a growing problem. PPD says it has been seeing more people speeding and doing illegal street racing this year. The traffic sergeant says $75,000 in state funds will be used by the department to have more officers work overtime to catch people who are speeding. Officials in Larimer County say they expect the largest wildfire in Colorado history to be contained around November 8th. The Cameron Peak fire has burned more than 204,000 acres and is currently 51% contained. Alan and Allison fire danger levels here in Southern Colorado remain elevated over the next couple of days, although I think the biggest target zones for wildfire growth or if a new wildfire were to spark to see how that would pick up in speed and intensity would be across the upper Arkansas River Valley in the mountains. Now Thursday we could see critical fire weather conditions and this threat could be more widespread than what we'll see the next few afternoons. Overnight lows tonight across southern Colorado look fairly comfortable. I'll say seasonably mild and not as cold as the past few nights and your highs on Tuesday it looks to be the warmest day of the week. Could even sneak a few lower 80s into the mix down south towards Trinidad, also across the lower Arkansas River Valley with some 70s for Canyon City and the Springs. Thank you for listening to today's five things you need to know. Sponsored by Power Credit Union.